What's going on guys? This is Zane here with The Kitchen's Morning Minute. Today we're going to be talking about grip pressure. So uh, I'm asked about grip pressure a lot. People will say, you know, should my grip pressure be a 1 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 3 out of 10? Here's what it should be. Everybody's hands are different. Everybody's grip is going to be different. This is what I think about. So I'm going to hold my paddle out, straight arm, and I'm going to hold my grip so loose the paddle starts to fall down. Now, I'm going to tighten my grip, not moving my hand, but only tightening my grip until this paddle comes up. But before you start to see these enormous forearm muscles start to activate, if you see these guns, that means you're gripping it a little bit too hard. So I'm typically using that grip pressure for almost every shot. And people think that power comes from having a tighter grip, but that's not the case. If you look at some of the quarterbacks that can throw the farthest, pitchers that can throw the hardest, tennis players that can hit the hardest, they're not big, bulky guys, which is fortunate for me. They're guys who can use their entire body and be very fluid. When we tighten up the grip too much, we get very rigid instead of more free-flowing, and that is where our power comes from. So try to keep that grip pressure at a comfortable level pretty much all the time.